Listen and repeat. Victoria and Julian. In France, a very beautiful girl named Victoria Lafourcade lived. And she was from a wealthy and noble family. She lived in a large and very luxurious palace. They always held parties in this palace. Invited to these parties the stars of French society. At one of the parties, Victoria met a handsome young man named Julian Bossoit. Julian was adept at talking, very lovable, but he was poor. Julian liked the rich girl Victoria and proposed to her to marry, but she refused and preferred a wealthy young man from a well-known family called Renal. Victoria married the rich young Renal, and after marriage she discovered that he was rude, hard-hearted, very cruel and ill-treated. So she could not bear all this and became seriously ill, remained in her bed until she showed signs of death. So they buried her in the cemetery of the village, near the palace in which she was born. Julian knew the news of her death and went to her grave and wished to keep something of her trace. So it occurred to him to come to the cemetery after midnight and open the coffin and take a lock of her hair. And Julian did so, and when he approached Victoria's head, Victoria shook and trembled, and then opened her eyes. Julian was stunned, but he took control of his strength and carried her in his arms, then went to his house and rescued her. Julian returned to the cemetery quickly and closed the coffin so that no one knew that Victoria was still alive. Victoria stayed in Julian's house for several weeks until she regained her health. Then Victoria and Julian agreed to travel to America to start a new life. Twenty years later, they returned to Paris after longing and took a short vacation, and at one of the parties Victoria and Julian were invited. Victoria was surprised when she saw Reynolds standing looking at her. He walked up to her and said, You look a lot like a lady I know, and Victoria panicked as Reynolds stared at her and looked at her body. He stopped looking at her left hand. The blood froze in the veins of Victoria because she remembered that he once threw her with a piece of iron that hit her left hand and left traces. He recognized her by the wound in her hand and told her she was Victoria. She had no choice but to confess everything and Renal became very angry and divorced her, so that she could marry Julian. They had a big wedding, went on with their lives happily, and returned to America. <laughs> <laughs>